Here we have True by Spandau Ballet. Uh, iconic 80s song. Um, the guitar part's not super, uh, you know, intricate, heavy, or any of that. It's just really, really uh, subtle. But once you hear it, you're like, oh yeah, I know that. And uh, it's pretty basic. So I'll just show you this main riff, which is pretty much, you know, guitar-wise, just the iconic part of it. Um, and it's just uh, two little tiny chords here. Um, really cool. It's uh, voiced way up here, though. Um, you're going to want to get this voicing because it's that real just uh, plucky, um, that certain sound that you only get playing chords way up high. Uh, and it's going to be here on the D string, G, and the B. Uh, we're going to go uh, 17 on the D, then 16, G, and 15, B. And it's just part of a G chord, way up high on that voicing. Okay. And uh, we're just going to real just staccato strum these. Just. Okay. And I kind of like this uh, just upstroke on it. Okay. Just twice, short. So three times, we're going to do that twice. And then we just kind of shift where we come down a set of strings and down a fret. Okay, so just down a set of strings and down a fret so that we're ending up on the 14 of the E, 15 of the B, and 16 of the G. And we're just going to hit those, hit that twice. Okay, and then we'll be right back to our previous spot. Right. And uh, if you want to, uh, there's some keyboard uh, chords going on here with this. And if you want to follow it along with just guitar chords, you can do that here. And uh, pretty basic. Um, we're, we're, throughout all these chords, we're going to really want to stick with this, this D note. It's just going to show up in every one of these chords here. And uh, so it's going to kick off with a G chord. But like I said, we're going to want to keep that, that, uh, that D also. Okay, so I just like this. I like to do about that much of a G chord with that three on the B. Okay, I don't really worry about the E on that. Just because you really want that that note in there. Okay, so G. And then we're gonna do a E suspended two. Okay, we're gonna play it like this here, where we're. Second fret on the D, four on the G, five on the B, and then two on the E. Okay. Just get that nice suspended second there. All right, and then we're gonna go back to uh, a C add nine. Okay, so then we're bringing back that third fret on the B for that D note. That's kind of matching what the vocal is doing there with that note. Okay, and C add nine, of course, that's just a normal C, but just take that first you would have on the B and just do the three on the B. All right, and then to a B minor seven. Okay, so we're at the second fret here on the A, four on the D. Uh, two on the G and that three, of course, there it is again on the B and then two on the E. Okay. Okay, so we went. And then we just end up back on the, the G. Depending on uh, whether it's the intro 
or uh, just a full-blown chorus. Uh, throughout the intro, and I think the first chorus, it's just twice through that progression. But uh, uh, once you see some of these choruses towards the end, you're going to be going through the progression probably four times at least. Okay, so once again, we just try it here with the G. E suspended two. C add nine. B minor seven. Back to the G. All right. And then once we get through the appropriate amount of uh, progressions there, then uh, we have, have that kind of abrupt uh, ending to it here where it'll be a C chord. Okay, and then a phone chord here where it's a F add nine. Okay, so we're just doing the bottom, mid to bottom part of a, a normal F chord here where we're three on the D, two on the G, one on the B. And then we take our pinky and just put it on the three of the E. Okay, so we just ring out on that interesting chord there. Okay, verse comes in here, and uh, this is kind of a, a long string of chords here. Um, let's start here with the G. And just do a normal G chord. Then we go to B minor 7, and to C, okay, and then we come all the way up here to E flat, okay, so 6 on the A, 8, 8, 8, on the D, G, B, okay, back to the G, B minor 7, C, Okay, and then here it gets real dynamic where, you know, he says, this is the sound, all right? And it's just a real abrupt, just E minor. Okay. Back to the C. And then we do a G. Scale down here with the uh, F sharp and D, F sharp bass note with a D chord. And you can just worry about, you know, the the D, G, and the B of the D. Okay, just so you can get to it quick as we're just scaling down, because it's a one measure where it's a chord, two chords per the measure, so. Okay, and then we go back to a C. And here we're going to repeat from C to G three times. C again, and then we uh, do a little scale down here where we go to a B bass note with the C. Okay, so just take that C chord and then you just move your, switch your fingers here so you have the second on the A, and then you're still making the rest of that C chord. Okay, two on the D, open G, one on the B. Okay, and like, like previous, this is two chords per measure. Just a real subtle chord. Okay, and then we end it with the uh, F add nine, which it was, you know, the ending of the chorus. So we know this chord. Okay. All right, and uh, just before the uh, saxophone solo comes in here, there's a little bit of a break where it kind of just hits a couple of a, f a few of uh, just dynamic chords there where it's uh, basically just hitting an F. So you can just hit it, you know, with the 3D, 2G, 1B, and it's just once, once again, and then twice. Okay, just kind of a funky little breakdown. And then boom, into that saxophone solo. And kind of fun while the saxophone's, uh, you know, doing its thing. The guitar is kind of doing a funky little uh, new chord 
uh, switch we got here where it's uh, it's playing some high voiced chords here, just parts of them, and uh, it's going to be an E flat. Okay, so we're just going to want to make the you know bottom half of it here. Okay, at the 13 of the D, 12 G, 11 B, 11 E. Okay, just that little high voiced part of it. And we're just going to want to kind of slide down to that. Okay. And we're just going to kind of do some like uh, funk strumming on it where we're just. Okay, just hitting it, cutting it, hitting some dead, dead strings. Something like that. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna slide up to an A flat, high voiced part of the A flat chord here. And basically, that'll just be 13 on the D, G, and B. And just kinda strum that the same way. And then repeat. funky thing it does during the sax solo. Okay, and after we repeat those two chords uh, eight times, then it's just going to end on a big G chord and just ring out. All right, and the verse following the sax solo uh, kind of adds some new dynamics in there. Um, it's basically just going to jump right into the second half of the verse. Okay, so right at the point where we're just doing those uh, repeated C to G chords. Okay, but it kind of throws a little uh, wrench in the works here where we're going to do that C to G. Go through it once. Okay, and then once we get back to that C, we're just going to hit it and then cut and just everything drops out. Okay, so. That's kind of like a vocal, uh, you know, just by itself right there. And then it kind of builds back into it here where it does a little scale that we haven't seen yet. Um, basically, we're just going to do a G to A minor, B minor, and then we'll get right back into that C. just continue uh, how it normally would end. Okay, and a new thing here, the second to last chorus. Uh, it's going to go through it just as normal, but then once we get to the end, okay, once we get to that C, and then we do the F add 9. Okay, we're going to repeat that twice. kind of that little piano scale that's happening. But then the last time we do it, we're going to do the C, and then just do a big G chord. And I like to play uh, the G chord like uh, bar form at this point. Okay, so just bar the 3, 5, 5 on the A and D, 4 on the G, just to make it sound really big. Okay, and at the very last chorus, there's a new guitar part that comes in, a, a second guitar. Uh, okay, so while the first guitar is doing that. Okay, doing that little riff. Uh, there's another guitar that comes in, and it's doing kind of just some unison notes and uh, just strumming with those. Uh, it's doing a 12 on the G, 15 on the E. Okay, so... So just a G note, basically, just unison octaves, okay? And it's just doing a one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so we do that, and then it comes up to 14G, 17E. One, two, three, four. And then it does uh, slides up to 16G, uh, 19E, and then right back down to the 14G, 17G. All right, and then after a few times of that, uh, it switches up a little bit. Where, okay, where it's going to do the the twelve and the fifteen about five times, and then it comes down to nine and twelve, to seven and ten. That was True by Spandau Ballet. A very subtle guitar song, but once you hear that riff, it's just, you know exactly what it is. So thank you very much for checking it out. Hope you had fun with this, enjoyed it. Do me a favor and uh, hit the subscription button, that'd be really great. And I'll include a bunch of uh, cool links in the description box for tab books and all the gear I use. Until we meet again, I know this much is true. I'll see ya.